right, welcome back everybody. Ace Top Grim here, and this is the continuation of our Learning Stellar series where I'm the one doing the learning. And what I have learned is that uh, it's probably better to, from the beginning of the game, be eating away at your opponents uh, just consistently as the game goes on instead of waiting and letting uh, kind of everybody get strong that way and they unite against you. And that's what I'm facing right now. This uh, mandate of Ak, they're they're equivalent to me in their naval power. And uh, on top of that, they're also equivalent in their technology, which means that their production capability to replace ships is going to be on par. And they've got the full weight of the UNE and the Havali Interplanetary Alliance behind them as backup. And uh, and that's making this war a serious uphill challenge where i kind of need things to go right i've tried a whole bunch of variations of attack i cannot win this fight no matter what i do i have found out that they absolutely will throw themselves against the walls to take this area or protect it and um that could be turned to my benefit if I outweighed them in fleet power, but I don't. And so they'll throw fleet after fleet after fleet, groups of them, of 100 to 150,000 strong, and and they can they can just whittle me down and, and defeat me and put me in a production grind before they're in a production grind, and it goes downhill from there. They can outproduce me. They have more backups. I end up chasing them all around. I have too many portals in, in this area to defend. Um, already I'm having to tactically decide to not defend Biltrone because I'm expecting to take control of Biltrone pretty soon, although they may take it back. And I'm not defending Shiat because I can pincer move in. They're, they're bot they can only go so far without running into more opposition. But even the places that I'm defending can be overwhelmed if they decide to stack multiple hundred thousand strong fleets together, and they do do that sometimes. So what my goal is here, um, you can see I have my invasion force up here. That's because they have a ring world here, but I'm not even going to use them anymore. I have found that the best way to fight this war is to not even try to take territory. I'm, I'm going to be taking territory but I'm not going to try to hold it. I'm just looking to destroy their planetary production wherever I can find it before this war ends, while also maintaining the integrity of my current borders. So whenever this war ends, I want to have everything I have right now, and I want to have destroyed as many of their planets as I can and I don't care about getting their land. The The idea is to have them rule over ashes. Uh, now, it's only going to make a small dent. There's that old phrase, how does an ant eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And that's what we're doing here. Because they have 47 worlds. Not all of those are planets. Some of them are starports. But this, these are their production centers. Well, I can tell you as an Air Force veteran who's studied it a little bit that there's a very capable tactical doctrine of destroying the enemy's production capability. And, and it's very effective. It works. It's been in place since uh, World War II, honestly, and it's it's been very effective. Destroy their centers of production. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. And I don't really care if I get the territory that goes with it. I just want to end the planets. That's why I'm sending these guys back. I just want to blow that ring world up and uh, remove it as a, a, even a possibility for them to regain control and repopulate. And by doing that over time, I can whittle them down, I think. But that's it's I don't know if it's going to work out well or not, man. These guys have to pull back also. I'm willing to give this up because they're willing to die for it and I don't have enough to make them die for it. Uh, so I'm going to give that to them initially and we're going to declare war. It's going to be total war. Standing by to commence offensive operations. And I'm not worried about declaring war on the UNE because I'm not trying to take 
territory. I'm really just trying to nuke planets. And uh, we'll unpause it and see how this goes. Engaging enemy station. Okay, Hydra fleet, Strike Force Hydra, come up here to Boy Boss, and Strike Force Enfield hit Lambda. You two come up to Muskita, and my Colossus specifically can nuke Pecan. Here, then here, then here, here, and here. And you guys. Can go that route. Now, what have we got going? Did you bring anybody over here? Doesn't look that way. See, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to stay right here. I need to stay here and defend. But I'm watching for their big three star fleets. Which I do not even see yet. So we'll have to see what happens. This whole scenario is very much RNG dependent. Because uh, I'm in... Action underway. I'm in the clear-cut disadvantage here. The, the, the number of 90 to 150k strength fleets they have is astounding to me. Absolutely astounding. Okay, see, they got three of them right here. 142, 136, 135,000. They got more backing that up. Here's uh, 86,000 and 181,000. I mean, that's all of their fleets. I think I might be able to knock these two worlds out. And then I'm going to have to bounce because they're pretty much coming for me. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of a cat and mouse. If that's all their fleets, is it? I might be able to split their attention by attacking up here. No, no, don't do that. Here. No time to waste, Doomsday. I, I am wasting time. I didn't have him queued up for orders. do here is that maybe this guy can come down here 
No, he's going to go back. So I'm trying to get them to tactically respond to an additional threat. Spaceport reports enemy contact. All right, now, right here, I might have been too late. Oh, man, they're coming. Bounce. You gotta go now. You gotta go Spaceport now. Lost to enemy action. Okay. These guys also need to bounce back. And it's just, it's a little bit of cat and mouse. Okay, Doomsday needs to come back. Gosh. Move to here, Doomsday. Maybe here. All right, now how are we doing? They just split their forces. So they have 148,000 right here. Can they get two jumps apart? Station reports enemy contact. They've all gathered up right here. Oh, they can't decide what they want to do. That makes that means I can't decide what I want to do. Okay, I'm gonna fight these guys. I have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, no, I don't wanna fight these guys, doggone it. How did I get cut off? Was, is this guy not moving? He's not moving. He's not, son of a gun. Son of a gun. I thought I could have sworn, guys. Did I not, did you not see me order him back? I, maybe I didn't. I have to assume I didn't. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so, um... Are you doing your job? Charging weapon. Okay. Sectors. Star bases. Minimize. Oh. Bump up. Enemy station. Bump up the speed. Okay. Send two people down here. And then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go here. Try to create that diversion again. Station reports enemy contact. Spaceport lost to enemy action. Now, where are they going? They they reacted differently this time. What are you guys up to? I want to pull back to here.
Spaceport reports enemy contact. Yeah, it's like they can't decide where they want to go. Okay, you guys come back to here now. Uh, did they shoot up here? Would I even know? Would I be able to tell? I don't know if I could see that far. Are they in my space anywhere else? No? Oh, here's the spaceport that I lost. Can I go get him? Fleet action underway. Okay. I think, uh... I think they're making a play for here. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, you guys come back to here. These are small fleets. I can whittle them down at least. That one's not small. Science ship reports enemy contact. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay, looks like I made it safely to here. One, two, three, four, okay. You guys come back to here. How are you doing? 185 and 150. See if I can get reinforcements in. Meantime, buy a stack and sell minerals. about these two. Okay, they're deploying out. Leaving 102,000 there. I wonder if I could bounce up and get them with these guys. I prefer not to use these guys. I really need to keep them as intact as possible. Let's aggress. Station reports enemy contact. Okay. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. And again, bounce back. That was close. Okay, they got that. Let's retreat. I'm going to bring them back to here. And these guys back to here. And 13. Oh, uh, with another. 35, it looks like. 
but I've accomplished what I wanted to down here. Those planets are destroyed. That was uh, a ring world and two planets. Just take whatever. Okay, now from here, I need to plus up. Nineteen thousand. It's a lot. And can purchase a few more. Okay, something's uh, off. We have Corvettes. All right, so who's missing Corvettes? You guys are. Okay. This is also a Corvette and a Corvette. So these guys are 100% again. That's good. That's actually the first time in all the iterations that I've played this that I've been able to refit. Well, no, there was one other iteration where I was able to achieve like a tactical pause where I could refit, where I, I could, I was safe. And I pulled back a little bit and I refitted. And this side here is doing the same thing. And my goal is to bring these guys up here because next I'm going to want to hit this planet and these two planets. Now that's going to be tricky because they're defending so hard with large fleets. 154,000. 50,000, 50,000 I'm not worried about. 79,000 I can take I can take care of that too. It's these 113 and 150,000 that are not pleasant. Are they going to leave this guy out alone? They might. This is where I might have to save scum because if I'm walking into a trap, hostile fleets and unknown power. Okay, let me make, um, I'm going to err on the side of caution there. Hopefully they will come out here. And if they get to this point, maybe I'll meet them. Because I would like to catch these guys off like stragglers, you know, take them down one at a time. That would be really good for me. You guys come up here. Okay, now you're 52,000, so I can probably come and get you. You're a few jumps away from this guy, and he doesn't look like he's interested in protecting you. Oh, and you came deeper. We're going to knock this dude out. Uh, pause. Okay, now am I free to make a run on this guy? I think I am. How are we looking? 206 and 214? Not bad. We didn't lose too much there. Uh, how about we go here, then here, and then here. Now I have to watch this guy, 113,000. That's, he is a concern. 
These guys are moving forward. Can I reach out and touch somebody? I'm going to I'm going to gamble on it. It'll put him into a conundrum. Does he go to support here or does he attack over here? Okay, he retreated. Move back. This whole thing feels like cat and mouse. They got they got a quadruple oh look an, another one. Okay, they've they've pulled back. They're only one jump away with this guy. Okay, he pulls back. How are we looking up here? Well, I just, I don't know what size that fleet is, man. I'm going to stab into their space again. It's only 28,000 fleet power here. Okay. Uh, I feel good about going after this guy. I don't see any other supporting fleets. Go here, go here. Uh, go here and go here. How are we looking here? 212 and 206. Uh, pre position right here. We, we can probably pincer this guy in. Oh, shoot. Those are some big fleets. Okay, okay, now. 104. Uh, these guys are heavier. They should be able to handle them. How big are you? You're 85. And we got a 71 and a 21. Okay, they won. Let's have you guys pull back. And you're gonna need to again outfit, reinforce. Okay. Buy another stack. I don't wanna buy too many stacks, it's just too expensive. But I can afford to supplement whenever I'm capped out like that. Okay, how big are you? 77,000. Try and get you. Uh, might have a fight. Okay, I got away from them. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, here's our fight. And, uh, we 
can shoot them up. It's not an easy fight. Not super easy, but not, uh, not in doubt either. All right, here come these guys. And I need to re-outfit this unit. And we need to repair. Thirty-three hundred and eight thousand. Uh oh. Seventy-six thousand. Get them. here reinforcements arriving over here Got a space storm that might be a bit of a problem Okay, we're at 216, 216, And they've been reinforced, so those reinforcements will arrive in uh, about two months. Attack these guys right now, though. those dudes some more okay come back doesn't look like I lost any ships okay 216 so they're full I'm seeing any three star fleets how am I looking on the interior oh man they broke through that's why things are going well over there so dragon <laughs> The Hippogriff are over here, and they're going to take a lot. 25,000 and 26. Darn it. Um, commercial goods is what I was looking to sell. Okay. What should I do about this? 
They have one fleet. That's too big for me to handle. How did Garuda get to a hundred thousand? These are the things that I don't quite understand. I guess ninety-five thousand is where some of my others are at. Oh, because maybe because we upgraded. Gorgon, where are you? Okay, we're starting to get to some points where we have people sitting around. I'm not sure how that works. If you're a hundred thousand, you're a hundred thousand. Oh, but they have another hundred thousand. I better stay here. I have defense platforms right here. So I'll give that up for now. What we're going to do is we're going to start making an attack run. To get some worlds. We should be able to destroy some ship making production. There's a three star. He's only 26,000 though. All right, which one of you is missing cruisers? Not cruisers. Oh, these are destroyers? You need the destroyers. So, one, two, and three, right? And we're missing 12. Now these guys, I guess they took a beating. Oh yeah, whenever they knocked out that three star fleet up here. Well, they should be stronger than anything that's left in here, so I'm going to go back up. I'm going to begin trying to act like the biggest kid on the block here. Need to throw our weight around a little bit. That's the juggernaut, and the juggernaut I want to come down here. I mean, actually, I don't care about that, do I? I'll do it anyway. Okay. Uh, whoops. Up here, no, never mind, never mind. It's not what I thought. Now the other thing, I think I'm getting gimped pretty hard by the fact I don't have Nemesis because I can't seem to find out what my enemies ship, ships are fitted for anymore. Okay. Now... We're going to move to here.
27,000 if they're lucky. Uh-oh. Was that a big fleet? No. Oof, it's a tough fight, though. We're gimped. I need to pull back and get reinforcements. That was, uh, that cost us. Puerto Gonzalez will be cracked. Okay, bring you guys back over here. How are things looking for me over here? Well, they're gonna push. Might be able to catch these guys by themselves. Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh man. See, I, I really need the alloys now. Um, these guys are strong again. Bring them out here. Okay, these guys. Maybe I can risk it and start taking some of this back. Oh boy, it's dicey, man, dicey. Okay. All right, Doomsday took care of that spot I need these boys to set up shop right here while Doomsday moves into here can take down Tuscany followed by Hope over here reinforce reinforce okay how are we looking on this side of things still producing good amount of alloys so I, I should be able to recharge relatively quickly and I need to reinforce this guy when that becomes possible okay looking back over here So again, I don't care what they grab too much. I mean, at some point in time, I'll probably be cut off from reinforcements. But I'm really just trying to whittle away the production value of their societies. Oh, we have Pops being taken into slavery. 
You shall not forget that. Minotaur, okay. Minotaur is just doing what I told him to do. So that's going well. 20,000, 34,000. I think that my idea about bleeding them as they came into my interior has maybe worked out because I remember some of those fleets being at 100,000. 100,000 plus and 50,000 and stuff like that. Nice. Okay, we're going to grab you next. How big is this fleet? 74,000. My fleet, 60, 69. Okay, so we're doing okay there. Where are you at? You're right here. I want to knock you out right now. These guys I'm going to bring into here. looking over here oh you're probably standing still yes and take here 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 okay and do we have three fleets here now yes we do 176 216 216 I Upgrade these guys. These guys are already full. Yeah. Upgrade. All right. Well, production wise, we seem to be looking okay. We're keeping everybody fitted. Oh, okay. A little bit late with reinforcements there. Oh, that must have been a small three-star fleet, man. We knocked him out. Okay. Uh, grab this. Doomsday. Stay, make the jump, bro. Inbound message traffic. Crack this world. Okay, so they want they want to sue for peace. I don't really want to give it to them right now. I think that enemy ground forces. I think that storm is hurting us speed wise. I want to knock down all the defensive platforms in these areas so Doomsday can move around freely. Enemy invasion force neutralized. Oh, nice. Doomsday is firing. Is that Ching Jing Yang? 
I think that's how I would pronounce that. I'm not sure. I'm going to hold this bottleneck. Hopefully. Okay, now. Right here. 216 and 216. That means this battleship doesn't really have a home. So I'm going to send you up here. All the rest of you. Seem to know where you're going. Okay, in the meantime, over here, I'm still at 176. Stock on it. Did they cut me off? No. I'm assuming you gotta come to here. Guys, we're all out here. They might get got. I probably need to roll back and defend. Doomsday, are you doing anything? You're rolling to target, okay. Let's hit these guys. Inbound message traffic. Forty-six thousand. Now they're gonna try and sneak up and hit Doomsday. Oh, these guys are running. I don't want to get caught in that trap. They're trying to. They're trying to draw me away. is I'm under so we got I need to take these two guys and hold right here I think and uh Then I need to take these two guys and probably just hold right here. Okay, now I need to come out here. Oh shoot, did my okay my fleet did not get swallowed up. You are at uh, fifty-seven thousand naval strength. And You're about to merge with with who? How much fleet power are you? You're five point nine, I guess, with you. Hippogriff is at two sixteen. Two sixteen. Two sixteen. Doggone it! I sent you to the wrong place.
Battleship Destroyer and some Corvettes. How about, um, oh, you can come up here. Uh, come to here. Okay. These guys I'm going to begin my attack with. Hit here. One hundred and two thousand thirty four thousand. Yeah, we got a lot going on there. I'm going to have to micromanage that. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. You guys come up here. Are you full strength? 216, 216. Yes, you are. I can use you to clean up over here. I mean, with any luck, we'll actually take all this territory, but I don't know. What's happening over here? Let's hit Rebalius. They are loaded in there. About 150,000 strong. Dang it, Minotaur was what needed help. Oh, okay. No, that's that's what's getting help. I don't know if I can take if I can kick all them out of there. I might be better off whittling around them and see how they respond to that. to micromanage I should have uh, guys on the way yes they are what I want to do is I want to select these two and tell them to merge okay then I can take this guy and give him independent instruction uh, man I wasn't looking to move into here oh yeah I am Kunbar okay grab here Back over to here. Wait a minute. Uh, two sixteen, two oh eight. You and uh, you merge. Over here, we're fine. I don't know where you go. You're probably supposed to come up here, I guess. Skywatch has sighted incoming enemy ground forces. How strong are you? Not very. Doomsday is firing again. They're separated, but they're only separated by one. Let's cut them off by grabbing Fuldora again. Okay. Well, let's see how this works. See if this fleet comes over and supports. Uh, they did not. 
83, 86, 99 versus 46. Take him out. Grab Kumbar back. Then I want you to come out here. 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 And back to Kumbar to hold. It is slightly ridiculous how well this has gone when it went so badly in a myriad of playthroughs. A whole bunch of scenarios. Whack these dudes. Overwhelm them. Planetary defenses overrun. Okay, Chimera and Skila will return to cats. While Phoenix and Charybdis return to Ture. I'm going to send you over here, actually. How are we doing? Oof, we're Meg 376 on this now. I don't know why. Maybe that'll change at the end of the month because I reclaimed my planets. Okay, Doomsday is still doing its work. I am taking everything back. So I'm getting the scenario that I wanted. Now I'm gonna bring you guys up here to camp at Trinitar. Oh, snap, man. These guys got pummeled. Ah, oh, that stinks. That doesn't look like I'm going to win that one. Inbound message traffic. Um, Doomsday's finished. We have one more system. Three planets, four planets. Well, four, I don't know, resource producers. Production centers, population centers. I mean, we're whacking everybody. Hold right there. Okay, what do we got here? Destroyer 54 100. What are you? You're a battleship. This unit right here needs battleships. There you go. Okay. And I lost Minotaur. select you and deselect you go this way I'm 
Okay. You two. Over our command limit. Dragon, Hippogriff, and who? Garuda. Oh, I have three fleets here. Okay. Dragon, you will return to Kunbar. Hippogriff and Garuda. Camp at Trinitar. And those fleets are 209, 185, and... 177. Okay, in the meantime, over here, I have to try and grab all this stuff. Here, actually, go right here. Oh, unpause. There we go. This way. Let's start start pushing here here come on buddy here all right Four of you converge here. How are we looking on this end? We're holding. Take Belvar's Maelstrom back. And now with the uber aggressive move, take the terminal egress. Okay. You. Here. Here. And back. You here, here, and back. You here, 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 and back. And you here, and back. Okay, go, 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 go. One more planet left. Oh, the timing is impeccable. It's nice. Can I take it? Can I get this? Roll out, bros. RNG really went in our favor this time around, guys. RNG just showed up. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I've got everything. 
They're at 100%. Oh, man. We're almost done. Doomsday. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Hit pause. Oh, shoot. I missed one. Vamanos, vamanos, vamanos. Less than 30 days, 20 days. Pause. Do I have everything? It appears I do check uh, sectors. I don't seem to have any occupied planets or anything. Submit status quo. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, man. That's the best that that has ever gone for me. And guys, I played through this scenario like eight times. So as I said before, oh, I don't think I said it at the beginning of this episode. Um, my lesson learned. If anybody plays Stellaris, let me know if this is your take too. I understand that you can sit behind your walls and build up and get strong and then move out. But there's like a limit to that. I don't think the way I did it, waiting until the end game uh, is the way to go. It seems to me like it's more viable to either go after your enemies really early and then just consistently be chewing on them throughout the game or to maybe maybe at mid game it would be the latest if you're going to do the sit behind the wall strategy uh, but you certainly don't sit here and just let everybody catch up with you you know and then they're past me right now but these are i don't think this is really very accurate um so that's my lesson learned there is that I waited too long waiting until after the end game to explode out and take everything maybe with nemesis it would work that way because you've you've spied on people and sowed chaos into their realms and stuff like that but not in not in this version of Stellaris that with no nemesis so uh let's see here I'm gonna tell everybody to go back home RTB Bring these guys back to here uh, That's pretty fantastic. I feel real happy about how that went. Of course I do um, I believe I'm gonna support this because I don't think I'm on the council right now. I got locked out So X out of there Let's let a month go by. Oh, we gained. Okay, gained a colony. <laughs> now, is that colony completely brand new? A hundred and. Oh, see, we're right back. That's terrible. <laughs> That's, we have no pops. They took all our pops. <laughs> uh, we're blowing theirs up, so. Uh, do we have any slaves? I guess I can't buy them. No slaves for sale. Nope. Dang, man. I'm stuck in the making more pops cycle again. That's such a pain. All right, well, we're uh, probably in a phase right now where I'm not too worried about that. Uh, everybody is inferior to us. We're going to wait 10 years and attack again. I'm going to look at this. It's so clean. It's so clean. I'm going to stack some fleets here to protect this bottleneck. I'm actually probably going to charge in and take this area. Oh, 
oh that's right and i'll be able to build up now that i own this i can build up defense platform in here which will cause them to jump into another fully fortified defense platform and then face a third if they come this way uh so maybe i'll just bottleneck right here uh, right here i'll hold up there and then i'm gonna stack fleets up over here we're gonna take this area up to probably right here i hope that's that'll turn out well for us uh they're down to 33 planets their economy is now inferior to us their naval fleet power is pathetic their technology is overwhelming okay man well whatever reconstitution i have to do i'm gonna do offline and then i'm gonna get set up for war that's the plan anyway i mean it depends on what happens offline right but let's go ahead and hit save this has been a long episode and uh again i'm aesop grim thank you for coming by the channel and i will see you in the next episode where this story continues